Dan Brown, Toy and Plastic Brick Museum, Belair, Ohio. To my right, you'll see the uh, Lego 3, which is the animatronic band that uh, came from uh, the toy store in New York City, ended up at the, uh, the um, flagship store in Massachusetts for uh, Yankee Candle. stored up in the ceiling, not functional, but uh, they were in the Lego aisle. So if you went to the Lego aisle at Yankee Candle and looked up into the ceiling, you would see the um, Lego 3 up on top. And um, we had the original uh, builder, who was the uh, gentleman who designed all the animatronics, come and help us. We pulled it down and uh, got it all fixed and working and brought it to Bolero Ohio. Okay, and it's an awesome bin, and it runs and everything here. So, what was the the setup like here? Was it pretty easy? You know, kind of build a stage type thing for it, or uh, no? no. Uh, originally, we had it up in a room. Okay. Uh, I was up on the second floor, up in uh, one of the rooms. Uh, it just didn't work well for it. Uh, so we had a uh, themed room around it, and it just didn't work. So, um, we actually had the stage. This was the uh, original stage that was down here in the bleachers, so it worked out very well to put them down here. But uh, we had a little bit of an issue. We had to uh, build in the back of the stage and everything because we have people who work down here. Their offices are right behind there. So uh, when the LEGO 3 starts playing their music, it gets very, very loud in the offices. So they, we had to move everything over and uh, get it taken care of. But yeah, yeah everything worked out good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so. How does that work then? Usually for like playing it and uh, you know keeping everything going. I think you've got like a button up here at the top of the bleachers. Yeah, we've got a start and stop button, okay. uh, so people can start and stop it as they wish. Um, but it also goes on a um, uh, a roll whenever you turn around and um, press the button. If you don't hit the stop button, it'll turn around and come back on about four minutes, five minutes later. So um, you know, if you need a recurring, you walk down, you press the button, and walk away. Uh, so it worked out very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's really awesome, and I, it's, it's really cool to hear the music and everything. Is that the, the song it plays? Is that the original song it's played from when it was first made? Or yep. did, okay, original song. Uh, <laughs> we, had, we had all the original uh, soundtrack to it, so we were able to re recoup it and get it to go. Mm -hmm. Just like when it was first made. Yep, and uh, we also we found the fourth band member. He was in a junkyard, and that was the one that was on our Shipping Wars program. So the fourth member, the guy was hanging off the side of the original booth. We actually have them. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's, it's definitely one of the highlights here when you hit the play button and all the, you know, the lights going and the, the music and everything. That's really cool to see in here. What was really interesting is um, we actually got the band first and then we got the lights a year later because they refused to go up into the ceiling to pull them down. <laughs> so they were stuck up in the ceiling and uh, my representative for the company kept bothering the uh, people at the uh, Yankee Candle until they pulled them down. And when they did, we were able to go up and get them. So they were actually uh, synced to the music. So it worked out very well. So we actually got the original um, uh, light and sound show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's very nice. Thanks for showing that to us. Thank, Thank you. you very much.